What do I do when my child continually says no when I'm trying to speak to them about kindness? How can I speak to him and grab his attention? Welcome to another episode of the Renewed Mama podcast. I'm Kimberly Mutar. I'm a homeschooling mama to three, a tutor, the creator of Speak Life Badges, sticker award badges for kids that help you to speak God's words over your children and break any lies they might be believing about themselves. And I send postcards to children all over Canada and the United States disguised as Austin the Hedgehog for Austin's Kids Club. While I might be doing all those things and loving it, I still need time to slow down, breathe, and renew. That's what we're doing together during this Renewed Mama podcast. It's you and me taking some time to pause and check in with our thoughts, the words we are saying, our parenting approach, and our communication, because it's easy to feel at our wit's end when our kids keep saying no, and we don't know what to do about it anymore. I reached out to Alicia and inquired further to better understand her question. What do I do when my child continually says no, when I'm trying to speak to him about kindness? How can I speak to him and grab his attention? She explained to me that him continually saying no is an, I don't want to listen to you. She's speaking and he keeps interrupting her with no. How can she speak to him and grab his attention? Well, let's talk dishonor and disrespect first. I know that children test boundaries and are finding their place in this world, but him continually saying no as an, I don't want to listen to you, and interrupting her is dishonor and disrespect. He's showing an unteachable heart that is not willing to yield, to listen, and to learn from his mama who truly is trying to teach him about kindness. There is no negotiating with a three-year-old, a four-year-old, a seven-year-old, or a 12-year-old for that matter when it comes to disrespect and dishonoring mom dad, or a sibling. You uphold respect and honor for each other as a high standard in your home. There are three things or categories of which we discipline in our home. Disrespect or dishonor, deliberate disobedience, meaning they know to do the right thing, they've been told and they don't do it, and a bad attitude. If it falls under these three categories, it requires correction and some form of discipline. This does not mean you or Alicia comes down with a heavy hand to enact discipline and correction. In the moment, you can calmly say, would you like to try that again? This time saying yes, mommy, with a heart that is ready to listen. When the moment is right and happy, say later in the day, take him up in your lap and talk about how important it is to honor each other and to listen when mommy wants to teach you something good. I love you so much and mommy's job is to help you to become the best Billy or the best Johnny, whatever your child's name is, you can be. That means teaching you to listen when mommy is talking to you. Interrupting and saying no is disrespect and it is not loving and kind. Talk in words that they understand. You can even role play this. Invite them to tell you about their favorite video game and then say no a few times in the middle of their story. They'll know what you are doing, especially if you just told them that interrupting and saying no is disrespect, but it helps them to feel what it's like to be on the receiving end of the no's. Then remind them of how they are to behave the next time. The next time you feel like shouting, no, mommy, 
Remember to stop and listen and learn what I have to share with you. That is honoring to me. Alicia asked, how can she speak to him and grab his attention? Here's what you can do. Stop what you are doing, look them in the eyes, smile, say their name, and then edify or build them up. Correct or teach the lesson and then edify again. Share full belief that they will do it. Keep it short and sweet. It can sound like, you have a heart that wants to do right. Shouting no at me when mommy loves you and wants to help you to do right is not honoring to me. You honor others when you listen while they are talking. It can sound like, you have a big heart to share. I know your toy is special to you. If you want to keep it safe from little sister, you need to put it up in a safe place. When she's older, you can share it with her. Then give them a Speak Life badge that says, I am kind, I obey right away, I obey with joy, I am teachable, I listen today, and I share. All of this, the stopping what you're doing, looking them in the eyes, smiling, saying their name, and then edifying or building them up, correcting, teaching the lesson, and then edifying again, helps your child to feel safe, connected, and loved. Mommy's on my side. She's helping me out. Tell me which is more effective. Stopping what you're doing, looking them in the eyes, smiling, saying their name, and then addressing the issue at hand, knowing full well that they heard you, that you have their attention, or shouting from across the room or the yard, stop that right now. Be kind to your sister. What are you doing? I told you to. I thought I told you to not touch what doesn't belong to you. I don't want to be shouted at, do you? Doesn't it pass on shame and criticism? There is a time and a place to shout, like when there is danger or they're doing something unsafe on the playground. Go ahead and shout because you've got to get the instruction to them immediately. But when you need to address character and your heart motive is after their growth, you must stop. Look them in the eyes, smile, say their name, and then address the issue at hand. This helps your child to feel safe, connected, and loved. Remember, mommy's on my side. She's helping me out. One more thing, mama. As you make it a habit to check in with your thoughts, the words you are saying, your parenting approach, and your communication, reflect on this. Is there anything in my behavior, my tone of voice, my body language, my eyes, that is telling him or making him feel like, I don't want to listen to you? We reap what we sow. Have you sown an I don't want to listen to you right now message in your actions, in your body language, your tone of voice, your eyes, your smile, or your frown? that now your child is reflecting. He's just doing what he saw in you. <laughs> this is a tough one, looking in the mirror like that, but we've got to, mama. We are renewed mamas here. You can even ask him, do you feel like mommy doesn't want to listen to you? Do I ever make you feel like mommy is too busy to listen to you? I want to make it right if you do. Hear him out. This is good stuff, Mama. I bless you. You get up each morning and you give and give with everything in you and you are still here watching or listening with a teachable heart to do the best you can for your husband and those sweet children of yours. You are priceless. All of my love to you. If you have any questions like Alicia did, I am here to help you. 
Ask your question by sending a voice message using the recording app found on the main page of speaklifebadges.com. Real quick, before you go, if this podcast has blessed you in some way, the number one way you can thank me is to leave a written review for the show over on Apple Podcasts. It encourages me so much to hear from you and to know that this show is helping you to stay renewed. The second thing you can do for me is to take a screenshot of this episode and share it in your Instagram stories and tag me at Speak Life Badges. Or DM another mama you know who needs to hear this truth so that they can be encouraged and renewed too. Lots of love. Bye.